This is the Cape Town they do not show us on TV. Not to discredit anything, but it's not all fleshy. It is mostly clean and safe in few neighborhoods, but the number of sharks and informal settlements in the mother city will simply shock you. Please continue watching until the end of the video as I take you through the sites and the areas of Cape Town they do not put on TV, as well as an intense interview with the INI Khoisan Rastafarian men who will tell us more about their significantly different ways of doing life, their beliefs, their religion, their God, their worship, that will leave you completely baffled. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Hulda. Uh, if you're bumping into my channel for the first time, welcome. And for those that are returning, thank you also. Uh, in today's video, I'm doing something different as always. <laughs> I am in Belleville and I just wanted to show you guys the area of Cape Town that they will not put on TV. I'm gonna take you guys around the market, the local markets. And I know we only see the fleshy side of Cape Town. We don't really see the, you know, the kind of ghetto side. So I'm here to show you guys that. So if you are interested, please continue watching until the end and I will uh, keep you guys updated. So this is Belleville. That's the mall. Like if you live in Belleville, that's the mall that you come to. There are other shops around. Somalian shops, um, uh, Pakistani shop, and then the local shops like ShopRite and all that. Cliques and like all the shops you can find around here however um this is the biggest mall in belleville and i'll take you guys around the train station the bus station uh, where they sell fruits and vegetables and all that so if you are interested please continue watching until the end of the video and i'll catch you later bye hi buddy guys these birds ne? yo they don't have manners if i had bread here or anything they would steal it from your hands <laughs> with no shame buddy hi they would steal your food these birds sure i'm actually scared of them especially if they are a lot like they would be a lot they can be a lot kiki it's belvin yes. you if you wanna go crying <laughs> and it's not for you kiki it stays belvin someone is watching you from afar to come and stay Get out of this thing. You can. No, you have can. to go all the way down. It's just the and then close. Kiki, put your phone in the bag if you're not using it. Guys, this lady, I don't know what she's thinking. She thinks she's in Namibia. <laughs> this is Cape Town. They'll steal from you big time. Yeah. Oh, I know I'm still recording. Yeah, oh, you talk. mean you yeah. want to talk? Mm. Um, yeah, so this is the taxi rank, mm -hmm. and uh, yo. A lot happens here, guys. <laughs> um, I've been to this place where they, you probably hear, no, yesterday they shot someone, you know, gang fighting, taxi fighting. And, uh, uh, but sometimes you don't have a choice, right? Um, okay, you see, there are barber shops here, for selling clothes. Like everything is happening here. You, they sell almost everything. Toothbrushes. <laughs> you can find them here. Um, but it's not the cleanest of places in Cape Town, actually. Oh, and it stinks so badly right now. Mm. 
but the police is always patrolling. They are always walking and patrolling. Hi. Room 26. <laughs> okay. He thinks he's from the gangsters, but I don't think he is. Wash. Hi, 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 my brother. Yes, yes, yeah. Okay, you just have to drive around along with the people. Hi. Yeah. What do you think? Huh? Pass what? Oh, you didn't want to pass that side? Uh, there are too many guys there. So this is like the local market where if you want to come and cut your hair, you want to buy meat, food, vegetables, you know, everything is cheap here. They sell blankets, they sell shoes, they sell um, uh, perfumes and you know, all these kind of things. It's usually fully packed here, guys. Especially on a working day or, um, yeah, just, just during the week. It's fully, fully, fully packed. Extremely packed. The taxis, the taxis stay in lines, uh, going to different uh, areas. And uh, I love that part because they are very organized. It's not a thing of fighting for, it's not a thing of fighting for customers or or uh, looking for you know uh, people. But there's just a line for every. You see, like there are numbers on top there. There's 16, 17, and then there are different terminals for different uh, areas. No no shading today. They cancel those. <laughs> they also cancel no shading. <laughs> I'm done with this one. Okay, um, I don't feel safe. I'm not a scared chicken, but me. <laughs> I'm watching you, there's nothing will happen. Don't worry. Watching me? Yes. <laughs> Where do you want to go? I'm going in front there by the security. Despite all the stories that you hear about Cape Town or South Africa in general, for me, I think the secret is just walk confidently. Walk like you know where you're going. Walk comfortably. Don't be scared. This is how you think we're gonna go and walk in Yang. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is this, this used, used to be our life. You know, yeah, take, taking taxis to go around until oh, they've expanded. This area was not there. Yeah, it was the last close. time it was closed. They've expanded actually. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, so this is um, this is a taxi rank, Bellevue taxi rank. Uh, you can go to the southern suburbs. Uh, you can go almost everywhere from this station, and then they are all obviously different stations. And then I'm um, gonna now take you to the so these are taxis. I'm gonna take you to the bus station, and then I'll take you to the train station. It's almost just close to each other, so people are looking at me very weirdly from here. <laughs> but let's go. Okay. What is it? Huh? This is I told you guys they can sell almost everything and anything there. Like what is there anything here? Let's ask yourself what exactly would you want? Mm. But also you don't want to be here during taxi fights. Yeah, because they are in town shop. No, they shouldn't do anything in any way. The taxi range is bigger. I see they even expanded that. No, this one has been there. Oh, really? That's yeah. Like and then, um, this area is the bus station. So this is the Golden Arrow bus station. Um, obviously there are no buses right now because it's a public holiday. Um, yeah. Again, there are just different stations for every location or area. And then uh, I think the, text, the bus fare is quite uh, affordable. It's actually cheaper when you have to take a bus than a taxi. There's also another section of uh, sales this side. They still sell the same thing, I guess. Just food and uh, snacks. Um, dry food and fruits and some I don't know is it medication or I don't know I'll show you guys you see there's the barber shop uh, and then also uh, it's just that I don't know what's happening today but usually you would find like homeless people around here and uh, sorry no I mean they are there they just got so classic oh really <laughs> <laughs> no like 
Usually you'd find them with blankets and all laying down. Oh, yeah. But then now, it's also very clean. I'm sh I should say I'm impressed. It's very clean. No, it's really, 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 really You want to go ask those people what did they say? Which one? Which one? The one you said that don't, you don't know if it's medicine. I don't know though. I'm oh, scared. but you cannot record them. You need to ask if you yeah, can record. Yeah, if you guys can see in front of us. I don't know what he's selling, but it's herbs, natural herbs. Um, there are trees. Okay, I'll just go back there. Right? Close by. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's, it's, it's medication that we, they believe they heal something or um, I don't know, but yeah, they sell a lot of uh, a lot of trees and roots and leaves. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the bus station. You can see there is this. This uh, stop is for Nyanga, Filipi, um, you know, different places, Delft. Um, yeah. So that was the taxi rank. This is the bus station. We are, I'm, I'm going to take you to the train station. I haven't been to the train station in years, <laughs> in a while. But uh, yeah. We can't get in. Eh? Eh? We can't get in. We can't get in. We need a ticket to get in. No? Yes. Since when? In the train station. We need a ticket to get in. What do you Even think? just to stand and wait there. Wait to wait. Just inside there. You no, you need a ticket. A ticket to get in the train, yes, but not... No, in the train station. Wait, you there will be see. someone there. Wait, you will see. Really? I didn't know. Yeah, guys, and you see they're selling cables here. I don't know what they're selling. Hard driver, keyboards, and uh, all the nonsense. This is how I'm spending my public holiday. <laughs> what? <laughs> what I say? Turning to me. So the first time, the first time I came to Belgrade, it was fully packed. It was busy. I was confused. I don't know what's happening. And I was not expecting it to look the way it was looking. I'm like, what is this Cape Town? Because we don't see this part of Cape Town. It's so busy. Everybody's carrying something big. That's where you buy the ticket. Looks like it's closed. Really? Yep. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we can go. There was another entrance to the train station, it's on the other side. Eh? Okay. In front of you. This way? Mm. It's nice and quiet guys, I promise you. Because everyone is not here. It's too busy, it's usually too busy. But I guess this gives you a better view of you know, the whole area. These are the Pakistan Okay. Where is it? The entrance is where? Balvo where? Station. Where is it? Oh, in there. Yeah. Is it open? Yeah. I don't know if you're going to allow us to get in there. Uh, no way. Let's finish it again. There's no train. Yeah, just getting in and coming out. Yes, yeah. film for YouTube. <laughs> okay, you can see the train. I don't actually know about the station. I only know about the other one. The good thing about transportation here is you always have an option of a taxi, a bus, or a train. Alternatively, you can even take an Uber. Uh, and everything is close to each other. You can always decide. And then the taxi first obviously varies according to where you are going, but I feel they are all affordable. For me, the cheapest is always a bus. So now I'm gonna take you guys to the shops. Uh, mostly they are Somalian shops and uh, Ethiopians that are selling here. Yeah, it's basically just like a market. It's really like a market. So yeah, come along. Oh, like I was saying, okay, here we find some other stuff. 
don't want to be disrespectful. Um, um, but yeah, we do find, especially in the center here, um, I passed by here once and it was literally. You see the center here? People, this is where they come and sleep. Everybody with their own blanket and sleep. So it will be people with their people with their blankets and their kids and their family, and they will be sleeping in the center. Um, and their families. Yes, I've seen I've seen um, a mother, a child, and a father, two kids probably or three sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it's quite big. I can't take you guys everywhere right now, but it's quite big. Like these shops are a lot here. They're everywhere. Uh, and the good thing is there's always police patrolling around. It's not a good thing. It doesn't change anything. <laughs> At least it's better. So it's like I think maybe three, four blocks of um, shops. Rastafara is the creator of okay. heaven and earth. Okay. And he's the one who created all these herbs. He created the okay. and princes and princesses in this place. Okay. So we are the sons of the okay. We are the sons of Chan. So this is all the creation that come out of the earth. It's natural. <laughs> that is butter potato. Butter potato is very good for weight loss. Butter potato is very good for sugar, for high blood. For cholesterol. This is matunga. Matunga is very good for, for broken bones. Matunga is very good for people, for women who have the season. So this is all natural herbs that is benefit for iron nice body also. This is the red onion, this is very good. If you drink it, it's very good for bladder infection. Very good also for washing and for steaming. Keep that like a bad energy so What is it called in it's, it's called, this one is called uh, red onion in Pitosa, it's called in the lazy mode. Okay. So okay. This one is Quabeba, this is the same one, only the white one. Quabeba. Quabeba, white onion. And this one is the red carrot, which is very good for manpower and for, for men that is uh, men who struggle and men that is for no sex drive, to use them and keep them, and keep them energy and power. This one is garlic. This one is garlic. It's an antibiotic. It's very good, you know, for people who have infection in the, in the body. It's a, it's an antibiotic. This one is African potato. This one is very good for pimples and for and for skin and and for skin purifier and blood cleanse. And this one is in Tomboti. This one is very good for children and for babies who have rashes. And in Tomboti, you create it and you put a drop of water and you put it on the face of the baby. Also purify the baby's skin. Okay. And this one is love root. This one is very good for, for love and attraction. You know? So this is all my herbs. This one is Karma Sun. It's very good for for washing and for steaming, for good luck. You open your doors. Okay. okay. This one is Kanyakute, more bark. Kanyakute is a, it's a bark of a tree, for a sign. Okay. To sign like a yeah. celebrity, you know, and to open the doors also. Sorry to do what, like a celebrity? Sign like a celebrity. Sign oh, shine. Okay, 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 okay. Like a blessing. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, and this is Umsla Vusa. This is very good for poison. If you eat something that you didn't supposed to eat, mm -hmm. you uh, like, if you are allergic to something, mm -hmm. that's when it takes out everything in the stomach. Okay. So that is the sage. We... White sage. 
Uh, it's traditional. Normally they burn it to connect to the forefathers also. Okay. That is the white sage and that is the rhino bush at the back of the white sage. It is very good to defend your house also to burn it in the house. Okay, it's nice because we're together. together. And that is buhu there, it's anti-inflammatory. Buhu mm. is very good for the back, lower back, okay. for kidneys. Okay. So this is the healing of the nation, you know, and mm. this is actually the medicinal herbs. This is actually the natural way. Mm. You know, because the tablets there in the shops and in the chemists mm -hmm. is killing our people. Yeah. And this is the herb that mm. heal our people. Mm. And we are the bush doctors, we are the Rasta man mm -hmm. from creation. We walk barefoot, we are connected to the earth. Mm -hmm. Like all the other people, they wear shoes, they yes. are just connected to the earth. Okay. So the earth gives Aina strength and power also. Mm -hmm. Aina do not eat meat and drink alcohol and smoke cigarettes. Aina live a clean life. Sometimes I sleep in the mountains also, so this is actually I know life and this is I know liberty. And, yeah. the, and the main thing is we are Rastafarians, we are we are bow for Rastafari. Okay. Because this is all the things that Cha have created. Mm. So Cha is worthy to be praised. Mm -hmm. And this is some herbs can also heal HIV and it also can heal people that are very sick. Mm. People that can die also, but I know can give them life. So I know is the push doctor. And as the first man in, in creation, so this is actually the real, mm. the real nature of medicine. Wow. For INA people, the year I know people. You. Every day I know make mixes for all day. They say, your Rasta, you make me strong and they bow for I know. So this is the works of our elders. Oh, okay. So you learned, you learned all these we things from your elders. You learned all the elders, yeah. so the okay. old Rasta man that okay. are not there anymore. Okay. But okay. also the knowledge of, of, the, of the elders is going on through all generations. Yes, yes. So so this is the generation. Mm. We are the next generation. So this is the healing mm -hmm. of the nation. Are we going back to the healing? As it was in the beginning. As it so was sorry. in the beginning. So sorry. That's why you get load shedding and all of these things. And the people that drink tablets but they never get healed. This is the healing. Our so people sorry, must look to the roots. And even in the pharmacy, they stuff. begin to sell this herbs like I and I do. <laughs> Like, they are very expensive. But I know it's the true King Selassie. Ja! Rastafari. Mm. King Selassie, Selassie is the first in five. And this is the second us also. Yeah, I see you we don't wear, wear the clothes. Sacklot. Yeah. This is the ancient sacklot of Zakaraya in the scripture of Job. So I know it's loving that life, clean and pure, natural. Yes, I ja! Rastafari. Rastafari. So, mm. you don't... Um, wear shoes and this is your clothing yeah, this is you want you don't you don't wear the normal westernized clothes yes. that we wear from the shops and then how do, where do you get the medication from where do you get the medicine the the the, the, the herbs, herbs, and, the herbs yeah. i go in the mountains i go like table mountain i go to Allen post i go to urban hills i go everywhere everywhere where there's hills and valleys and mountains we go there take the spade you dig, uh-huh. And you know how the leaves look. Not anyone can go there and just get yeah. all those herbs. Yeah. You must know how the oh, leaves look. And you must know, the know the season. Yeah. And like now it was summer, the leaves were burned. Everything, it grow back now. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. winter, winter is yes. coming. Yeah. So yeah. you must know the herbs. You must know how it look. That's why the elders, they took us into the mountains. The older us, the mm -hmm. people, they learn us. Mm -hmm. This is how it look the season. And this is how it look that season. So we did, the I can't get confused. So yeah, we go all the mountains, we go Durban World, and it's very dangerous. It's the in the farmer, he gets us. He says his mountains because we pass through the through the grapevines to go to yeah, the yes, 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 So it's yes. not easy also. Oh, Even the red this. carrot is very dangerous. It grow up in the mountains. Yeah. And eastern thing. So it's not very easy to oh, get. So this is a red, it's a red, red carrot. carrot. Red carrot, okay. It okay. grow up in the mountains deep. You must go far to get the herbs. Mm. So it's life over death, that's actually. Yeah. To heal the nation is yeah. also a sacrifice. Mm. You can lose your life also because it's high up in the hills, very deep. No one can go there, so it's very dangerous also. But that's why it, it, it's very good for the people and for the human body. Because we go far and we, and we put energy in to get it. Mm, I see. So it's not easy, it's life over death. Mm. But I know strong and faithful. Okay.
this is this is very different. So what exactly what exactly do you believe in? What and I believe in Zara Stafara and I don't, don't believe in the white Jesus Christ or the people. Sunday worship was so serious. And I don't believe in that about that Christ. And I believe in the true Christ, the black Christ, the Redeemer, who was okay. come in that time. The Christ was come. Okay. And he was so the people. And he was let the blind see. I know that Christ is the black Christ. It's not the one that put there on the wall, the white one with the blue eyes. So I never believe actually that Eli Selassie is the return of that Messiah. Eli Selassie the 225th December. If we look into Ethiopia and into the Solomonic dynasty, we see that the Lord, he, he, he promised us that the son shall be given and the son shall be born. Mm -hmm. so, so Christ he was be given, he was died on the cross for our innocence. So they say that Christ is going to return was with a new name okay. and with a new form, but the people are confused. In Revelation 5, it was written also, who was worthy to can open the book of the seven seeds. And the who was worthy is the lion of Judah. If Christ is the lamb, who is the lion, I is the last year. That's why they do not mention it in the Bible. Because this Bible is millennium order, the Romans, they write it. They want us to believe that this Christ is white. That's God that we must serve. We want, to, we want us to to serve a God that we not know we want to serve. We want us to serve a foreign God. So I may do not serve foreign gods. I may serve Eli Selassie because he's the power of the Holy Trinity. Mm -hmm. And he is the Lion of Judah. And he is the root of King David. So if you find Eli Selassie, if you go to Nayabingi, because Nayabingi is the foundation of Rastafari. Mm -hmm. If you go to Nayabingi, to the church of the Rastas, if you go there, you will find him inspiration mm. it is in philip below there's a big church of the rastas so you you guys have a different bible no, or you don't have a different bible, bible. No, we have the same, same bible. Bible. bible the same bible the, the, bible. the, the holy bible, bible. Oh, the holy bible, bible. Okay. bible that, you read that you read in the beginning it says exodus oh, okay. numeris leviticus okay. deuteronomy mm. okay. okay. oh, 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 is only out of Pesalams. Oh. And, oh, we, right. and we are Rastafarians, we, are, we believe in the first five books. Genesis, Exodus, Numeris, Leviticus, and, and Deuteronomy. And then we go to Psalms and Revelation. Oh, That's okay. why it makes seven, seven. because the seven says. We do not believe in that other books that are written there. There's New, New Testament and that we are more of the old. Because okay. Rastafari are from old. Rastafari oh. are from Pinton. Alright. Okay, so what do you guys eat? I and I eat I tell you know and I eat potatoes and I cook cook some potatoes and cook some salmon and cook some soya beans. Mm -hmm. Put some tomatoes there and some onions mm -hmm. and make like some I turn like like some rice. Yeah. And the woman they prepare the breads mm -hmm. and the woman they prepare also the items. And you know, normally we eat out of the fire because we are firemen. Yes. Oh, we you are, eat we are the fire the people. Fire. Oh, okay. We okay. make a fire, then we uh -huh. eat from we the fire. fire oh, okay. We sleep in the mountains, we get energy, we wash in the mountains. Okay, and how do you sleep? Like, how are your houses? I know the houses are like normal houses. Oh, okay. You now, okay. and the woman, she sleep there on the bed, but I and I make there on the ground something for the beds. I and I not sleeping together with the woman in the bed. I may sleep on the beds and the children, the lady, the woman. Okay. I may sleep Okay. Maybe so you are on the ground cloth, you have to sleep like that. Oh, really? But the like woman the can sleep on the bed? The woman bed, yes. is not like the man. That's why I never wear bare feet. Oh, you know. So you never wear shoes? Never, never wear you shoes. Bought, you never... I even get boils on the soles of my feet, but I never wear shoes because I walk five years bare feet now. Mm. And I'm still going, you see, I'm oh. still going strong. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. All right. This is I know life to all eternity, and it's like, and I sacrifice a lot of things. Yeah. What do you guys survive on, like, in terms of working? Do you, working yeah, now, it's, it's, you just sell. We are not in the system, you know, we are, we are, we're like, like there's the brother also coming, we are not in the system, we're not, this is our works every day. Mm -hmm. We see our marijuana also on oh, the streets. Okay, okay. You see, because we are we are staying for marijuana, we smoke every day. Oh, you must and smoke we, every and day. We are connected to the Father. And so in every day the people they come to I and I they want some herbs, they want some ganja, they want something. You see, so this is our works. We just work ganja, it's also there by our houses. We are 
work in Kansa, and they are the works. Oh, okay, so you even have weed here? So people I can come in? I also have Kansa, a lot okay. of Kansa only, but it is high for them and those who can eat it. Okay. Yes, I have some things okay. to have. I have some right. cheese also because now is the time of harvest. It's the time you of. Puff mm -hmm. You don't puff. Mm -hmm. I don't puff. I've never puffed. You must come to Ayana. You must puff, Ganza. You will feel free. This is when you it makes you iron. It makes you iron. It's oh. not like it's, it's, uh, it's not drugs, you know. It's not like alcohol, you know. Plus, I know what this wise mind and the knowledge. That's why I now also grow the dreadlocks natural, you see. Oh, okay. Not grow sharing the dread, you see. I now grow natural. Because mm, I now is a real bushman, an ancient poison. Oh, are you guys poisons? We yes. are the real, we are the real and sucking the us. Oh, I see. We are the sucking, we are the sucking people. But we are coming out of the tribe of poison because we are repatriating, because we are wearing the cloth. So it's a form of repentance okay. and repatriation out of the system, out of Babylon. Okay. That's why we survive like this without Babylon, without the system. It's very hard, it's not easy, but I nice call my first child. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Herschel. Herschel. And yours? My name is Francesca. Francesca but they know me as Ruben because me, I'm the firstborn. Yes, <laughs> okay. All they know me yeah. as Ruben. If you're gonna read all, oh, there we go back to the to the to the holy book, to the Bible. Uh, Genesis 49. It shows you Jacob is the father of many sons. He had 12 sons. So you must read also the scriptures. And he's the me, I'm Ruben. Me, I'm the first oh, one. Okay. I'm the okay. eyes. On the right. eye side, oh, highly yeah. eye. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. I hope it educates and uh, teaches people that do not know about. How do you guys? How do I call you guys? You call us I and I. I and I. Yeah, the people must know I and I. Rastafarians. Oh, okay, okay. You must know the brothers of the race. No. Must know. Okay. I and I. I and I. Selassie okay. I. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, okay, guys. So um, I think this brings us to the end of the video. Um, unfortunately, the other events are closed. So um, there's actually nothing special about it. It's just a normal mall. So that's why I'm not so um, eager. Or oh, I, I don't really mind you guys having missed it because. I'm watching a back one. So the, the malls are closed and unfortunately I can't show you guys. But there's nothing special about it. Um, so this brings us to the end of the video. I hope you have learned one or two things about Jelvo, about the I and I men. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and comment down below to let me know what you think. Bye! <laughs>
can't believe straight. Right there. Yeah, straight here. Yeah. I can't believe it's still like this here. Debbie, let me call you back later. No, no, please, Debbie. Give uh, some wait. advice. Wait. Debbie, Roddy wants to talk to you. Hi, Hi Debbie. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. What are you doing now? Right? For right. YouTube. Ish. We're already not safe in Balvo. Mm. Ooh, these are the famous uh, how do you call this 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 place? I just know the shoot and you this area is dangerous guys. Like if you live in there, if you have friends living in there, it's it's very bad. They shoot, they kill. There's almost every every weekend there's somebody being buried from that area. Hello. And it's a uh, I'm not being racist, but it's a colored area. But yeah, they tell you, I, I just forgot, I'll get, if I get the name, I will put a voice over, but I just forgot the name. Those flats, how do you call them? Keep, keep flats? They are very bad, very dangerous. Anyways, so that side is Bala, the other side is Alsace. We're gonna go the side of the airport, ne? Guys, can you believe that they put the airport the side of the location? So if you are flying into Cape Town, <laughs> The first things you will see is the sharks. Yeah, it's not it's not the best of the areas. Yes, here we are. It's it's quite bad. This is where people live. This is their homes. Um, and they have a lot of okay. They have a lot of horses. They survive with horses, most of them, because they drive into town to go look for food or anything that people can give them. Or uh, in terms of uh, um, like if you have food that you want to give away or clothes or something old materials or TVs cupboards chairs these people walk around areas um, every week or every weekend so it's quite sad that um, there are people living this way uh, this part of the area uh, of this part of Cape Town and uh, most of the times they are illegal connections like electrical connections and water most of them don't have water actually these ones don't have electricity do they have electricity here oh there there they do have electricity but it's illegal illegal connections um, but yeah so this is a part of it and there you see the flights i don't know if you see the wings of the flights now but i just saw them the airport is literally there that's where the airport is Cape Town International Airport and there are the shops just next to each other and if you are coming from the airport and this congestion traffic please wind up your windows I've witnessed this so many times phones being grabbed from the windows you do not want to experience that and they do that a lot to foreigners because they know they don't know what happens so always have your windows rolled up this is basically the airport already and then if you continue straight, it's going to be Nyanga. Uh, we need to go to N2. You gotta continue straight. Because this is the airport. We are not going to the airport. But we are going to N2. We wanna go to N2. So that's the airport. That is the Cape Town International Airport. There's a video where I take you guys through the Cape Town International Airport. And if you wanna see that, please go back and watch it. Um, the airport is quite big and then this side there's Nyanga okay guys I just stopped on the highway to can I get out can you get out okay. oh, it's during the day no they want to arrest us okay um, I am in Nyanga at the highway um, these are shots it's quite big it's really 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 big like until further down there so yeah shots are just around here and it's Cape Town the Cape Town they don't show you there's a lot of illegal connection here I know about that because I did a research on um, areas like this in, in, in university and um, yeah man guys this is life in Yanga or life in in the township of Cape Town so it's literally a little division in terms of the suburb informal settlement 
um, over the road it will be informal over the other road then you find an airport so yeah What should they do? Is it YouTube? Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> and what else? Like and subscribe, watch the videos, share, and, and comment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Roddy. Hi, come on. I'm missing so much. Did you? Oh, I you so much. really? I <laughs> <laughs> love it, ne? This is my baby cousin, guys. She's the youngest of them all. Okay. Is it a picture or it's a video? Okay. You don't want it to be a picture? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why is it such a picture? Can it so hard in the thing there's the effort. I think this brings us to the end of our video, guys. Thank you so much for watching if you have watched till this far. And I hope you have learned one or two things. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye! Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the <laughs> notification bell button so you get notified whenever I post something new. And please, I would love it if you guys share. Bye! Well, we ended up uh, taking her out for a study break. Uh, we went to have some gelato ice cream, delicious. And then um, wanted pizza. And then we also drove to Cavendish for some uh sushi so yeah well spent night well spent or day well spent um and if you're watching till this far thank you so much for being so faithful and loyal um all i can say is thank you and i hope this video was informative educating and you have learned a few things about cape town and uh i'll catch you guys in my next video bye for now